Big we're live. Ani, hello to you, my relatives, and welcome to Breakfast with G. Hello, hello, my friends. My big apologies for not being here. I've been working, working hard. So I was, uh, I was writing a play, finishing a play with my wonderful friends over there at Native Voices. And that wonderful adventure can be found on my other channel. But we're not going to talk about that here. We're going to talk about you, because that's why you come here. Because we're going to talk Breakfast with G. Since that other wonderful show from Sundance is no longer, well, it finished its season, um, The Red Road, what other Indian show here can we talk about in the U.S.? Because we don't have the luxuries of the APTN channel in Canada. So, luckily... Longmire just started. Not totally a native show, but they got some, you know, some some native people on it. Again, it's the wonderful actor Zon McLaren. I just love him to pieces. And I haven't seen him in a while, so I can't really bug him about this show. But so before we get started on that, let's talk some Indian language for you all, for you people that have come to see that. So we are chugging along in the months. So we are now in June. So June is the strawberry moon. What's that song? Strawberry. No, it's strawberry wine. Sorry. <laughs> um, and you really didn't want to hear me sing. So June is the strawberry moon. And that is... Oh. Oh, day in mini geezes. Oh, day in many geezes. Uh, I will put the spelling up here for you um, in the produced video. <laughs> or when it afterwards, you know. I haven't done a live show in a while. Give me a break, people. Strawberry moon. Oh, day in many geezes. Geezes meaning moon. And assuming, wait, let's pull out our dictionary and see if that's what strawberry is. Pulling out the dictionary. That is the dictionary song. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, I just did that. Strawberry moon. Yep. Strawberry is ode. Imminent. Amen. 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 I think I added some inins in there. I have a problem with that. In -in. A little stuttering. A mini. Oh no. Ode. A mini. Ode. A mini Jesus. And strawberry is. Ode imin. Ode im in. Yeah. There's it's od ode and then it's like the little glottal stop. Imini Jesus. So welcome to Ode Imini Jesus. Uh, and our word of the day is going to be what should we pick? Um I had a good one. Where are you? Where are you? No, it couldn't have been that one. Could it have been? Oh, I know what it was. So, because some people are going off to language and um, language camps and stuff, so if I were going to language camp, this is the word I would learn. Ikidan Minua. Ikidan Minua. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> And if you're like me, it would be Daga Ikidan Minua. Daga Ikidan Minua. Meaning, please say it again. Yeah, that is that is the extent of uh, the Ojibwe language that we're going to talk about today. Let's move on to the Indians and Longmire. Okay, so if you don't know what Longmire is, well, you should. Okay. So there are some wonderful people. I think what are they into season two now? And this was uh, I gave you some time. I know last time we, I did it the morning after, but I gave you a whole week to watch, and then we could come here and chat about Longmire. And this week they had some scary Indians on it. And if you're new to my channel, yes, I say the word Indians. Indians. Wait, where are we? Indians. I am the most NPC person, um, so sorry. Whatever, man. That's how I roll. 
So Longmire is about the, okay, let me get my notes. I have to get my notes. I have notes, really. So we talked, it's on the A&E channel. It is up in, I know it's filmed in Albuquerque, but it's supposed to be in the middle of nowhere. And there's a reservation that's close by, and so they have uh, police there. So Longmire, he is the sheriff of the town. Last season, he went through a little bit of strife in his um, it, with his four deputies. One of his deputies, Branch, the hottie, uh, wanted to run against him for sheriff. Spoiler alert, he lost. Okay, so if you're going back and thinking he's going to win, no, he's not going to. The show is called Longmire. Longmire is going to win. The B story in it is Longmire's wife died of cancer, supposedly. I'm not going to tell you about that one. I'm not going to spoil that one for you. But So she died, but now season two comes about, and there, uh, Henry, um, how should we describe Henry? Hmm. Henry is Walt Longmire, the sheriff's friend. He owns the Red Pony. I think it's called the Red Pony. He owns the bar on the res. He's the character Henry is played by Lou Diamond Phillips, who is native. Moving on. So to recap, so Henry is getting hauled off to Denver by Matthias. Matthias is the res cop. And so he's getting hauled off because they say he killed Walt's wife. Or he, he killed he killed the people who killed Walt's wife. Okay, Vic, her stalker, is back, but they didn't really talk about that. And then Branch got shot at the end of season one. He was out on the res collecting evidence, and he got shot. And that's how it ended. So this time it opens up, and oh my gosh, there's frenetic speeds. And, uh, oops, Walt, it, Walt goes and he saves Branch. So they're, you have to see the show, go watch it, but, so they're like really at each other, Walt and Branch, rah, rah, rah. Branch is the hottie cop that just ran for sheriff. Following me so far? I know, it gets confusing. So, so Walt saves Branch. He sews him up with fishing line. Yeah, it was pretty gross. So he get okay, and he drives him to the res hospital, which... There's no one there to help him because the res doctor is out at the moment. And so Branch's dad is pissed at that, going, Hey, did you sew him up with a rusty needle, too? Hey, dude, he just saved your kid's life. Shut the F up, man. Oh, but I so love Branch's dad. It's uh, Gerald McCraney. And <laughs> the reason I love him is all I'm going to say out there, if you people watch TV Land and have seen Simon and Simon, that's all I'm going to say. Go look at Simon and Simon. I think it, I don't know what station it used to play on. <laughs> then you will definitely love Gerald McCraney because he's become such a hard ass, you know, throughout his career and his different characters. Simon and Simon. All I'm saying. Okay. Um, okay, and then. What else happened? It was a crazy. It was a crazy show. So they're they're hauling they're hauling um, Matthias off, or Matthias is hauling Henry off, and Walt is going to get some money for Henry to, yeah, for a lawyer. Oh, but then he goes to the safe, and there's no money in there, and and Henry is like, oh, the darn scheming harlot. I forget her name. Some chick stole some money from him, so he has like twelve hundred dollars to get a lawyer. Not going to do good right now, especially the Denver police want somebody. They're pissed. They, uh, the cop, the detective from Denver, so want, like, he knows, Walt knows more, so he's holding Henry kind of hostage until he, know, he knows Henry didn't do it. Right? Okay, wait. So, what else happened? That was, I mean, there's a lot of action. And then, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you about this part. Spoiler. Inside of Branch, the doctor found a feather. He's like, how did that get in there? Because he was shot, right? So how... And Branch keeps talking about this white Indian that he saw. Hmm. 
We're going spiritual this season, people. Indians are getting all... Can't believe I just did that. Okay. Anyway, so that is the wonderful Longmire. Um, the second episode, they play on Monday nights now. So we're going to talk about it here. We're going to talk about the Indians. Oh, I forgot to talk about... I forgot about the other Indian, A. Cruz Martinez who is the tribal chairman, and he is just a badass. He is just the meanest, meanest character ever. Oh, I hate him, which is so sad because I used to love him. Again, another flashback. So if you are a soap opera watcher, he was on The Bold and the Beautiful. I know. You can't see that, right? But he was in his younger days because he's gotten a little bit gray in the beard. But uh, he is, he got, dude, I'm Indian. I hate him. Oh, my gosh. You're like, wow, you're such an ass. Crazy. So um, so he and Walt just hate each other. And I don't know his name, his character's name. We'll just call him A. Martinez. Um, A. Martinez and was trying to help Branch get elected for sheriff. But he didn't because... Branch did some, Branch, Branch's conscience um, came through in the end, and that's why he got shot. Yeah, you have to go back and watch season one. That's all there is to it. I mean, it's, it's, it gets slow sometimes. Way better than that Red Road stuff. Oh, we're still going to talk about it. Because there isn't much Indian, there isn't much Indian programming on television, and I am trying to get some, you know, some Canadian shows, because I'd really love to watch Mohawk Girls. Just a little plug for that show. And, oh my gosh, uh, I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name right now. Oh, God dang it. <sighs> I'm, all I have in my head right now is Black Sabbath, and that is not the name of the show. Black, it's Black something. Ah, oh my gosh. Quick, what's the name of that show? Hurry, hurry. Um, Black, Black Cloud. No, it's not Black Cloud. That was the name of a horrible movie. Um... Oh my God, black, black! It got it just got nominated for a bunch of awards in Canada. Who is in it that I know? Who? There you go. I know he's in it. Please let you be in. Oh, I could have looked at Tamara too. Let's roll. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm opening another window right now, so I can't see you looking at me. What is the name? Blackstone. I was close. <laughs> So Blackstone just got uh, nominated for a bunch of awards up there, and that would be an awesome one to watch. Um, Arctic Air with Adam Beach just got canceled on CBC up in Canada. So there's not much Indian programming, and these are pro programs with stories. So that's why I want to sit here and chat about them with you. And uh, if you know more about the shows, let me know. If you have an opinion about the shows, I would love to hear it. Um, I think we'll keep doing Breakfast with G on Friday. Let people, you know, watch the show, catch up with their DVRs throughout the week. I have my notes. There wasn't many of them because uh, I think I fell asleep. Because I was going to do this on Tuesday morning. Sorry, my people. So let's do a review of our words of the day. Our words are for June. Oh, dit me <laughs> No, not that one. Oh, dit imini gizis meaning June, strawberry moon. And if you're talking to somebody in Ojibwe and you, you're you like, what? I don't say, Ignan Minwa, Ignan Minwa. And if you're like me, that has to say please with everything. Uh, Daga, Ignan Minwa. Please say it again. Go there, use that word, or use that little sentence, uh, Ignan Minwa. And, you know, just practice it. That's a simple one. Ikidan Minawa. Um, not like an Ode Imin um Ode Imini Gizis for June. So join us next week. We try and keep these things nice and short. Wow, I kept it really short today. So uh, where was my head? Nice. I love live. I love being here live because you get to see my thought processes as it happens and sometimes Hmm, they don't turn out so well. So I'd love to hear from you. Anything you have to say, leave it down there in the comment box. Or, you know, find me on Twitter at, at BobbyWash or 
uh, well, I don't, do I? Er, wasn't well thought out. I was in a rush this morning. Oh my gosh. Where's my assistant? Okay. Carrying on. Oh! Last thing. If you're watching the Stanley Cup Finals, I'm, I'm wearing it in 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 sadness. So who do you cheer for now? L.A.? New York? What do you do when you live in L.A.? Okay, we cheer for L.A. because Jordan Nolan is on the team. Okay? Let's go that way. We're, we're not cheering. Oh, but, you know, maybe if Jordan Nolan got some ice time. Oh, wait. Maybe, like, why isn't Jordan Nolan playing? Is it because he's just a badass and fights with everybody? And they're like, dude, we don't need any fighting. Hey, you, we made it this far. Just put your suit on and look pretty over there. Is that what they're saying to him? But anyway, he's still gonna. He's still there. He's on the freaking team. So he, Jordan Nolan from Garden River, awesome, awesome. So I guess we'll cheer for LA. So I might have my LA shirt on next week. And then the series might be done. So go out there. You have a lot of stuff to do. Okay, watch Longmire. Watch the playoffs. And then come back here on Friday and watch me, and we'll chat some more about Longmire, how hockey went, and figure out some new words to say. Otherwise, you, you out there, you and you and oh, even you are the beads on my moccasins, the grease on my fabric, and the cash in my casino. You know you are. You know it. Me, bitches. Yeah.